Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Lee, the Happy Nappy Trucker, coming back at you for uh, day number nine here at uh, CDL School in uh, Marysville, Tennessee. Um, second week. Second week ain't no joke. And I knew that from the beginning because, um, of course, we stay at a hotel with everybody. And so, you know, everybody talks and stuff. And second week is the week where your instructors can pretty much, you know, make a determination of whether or not you should be held back or not because for one reason or the other either you're not paying attention and you're not getting the skills or they just don't feel you're quite ready enough um, where you could move on and then eventually pass the test in your third week happy to say I should have no problems moving on to my third week so uh, next week we'll hopefully pray to God pray to God be my final week and uh, and then I'll be taking my road test and then whenever all that shit's done, even if it's the Monday after that, I'll be done and have my CDL and on my way fucking back home. So I can start uh, making this money, making this, making these stacks, as my, as uh, my brother TRB likes to say. Shout out to you, TRB. Um, ooh, so my roommate just got dismissed um, because he wasn't displaying the skills that were are necessary to pass this to pass the CDL skills test. Um, so he was actually rolled back before. So when he, I was in my first week at CDL school, he was in his second. And then now that I'm in my second, he was rolled back. So he joined us um, our second week. Second week is when we start learning all, all our skills, um, our skill maneuvers, so all our backing maneuvers. And then uh, on Friday, we'll hit the road. Uh, just just so you know, come out here with some pre-knowledge. Um, if you can come out here with your permit already, highly recommend it. If they tell you that you can't get it in Tennessee before you come out here, that's a fucking lie. Because you can go into any DMV and get your CDL permit just like anybody else. You don't have to go to a school to get your CDL permit. So that will just help you out a lot, tremendously. Now, unless Driver Solutions does something with like by changing their training course and make it so that you don't have to sit for one boring week of classroom time learning about a test you've already passed, um, then it'll just be a lot easier and you can sit there that whole week and just stare at him like he's stupid because you've already fucking sat through this, you passed, so why are you having to do this again? That was that was my whole take on it, you know, and I, I speak bluntly, so I'm sure there's a nicer way I could have said that, but that's what the fuck I mean. Like, there's no reason to sit there for a whole week and um, you already have your permit, so you're preparing for a test you're not going to take, or you don't need to take. Um, so yeah, so my roommate just just got dismissed. Uh, he almost hit like an awning, and like you know, he swore swore up and down he didn't he didn't come close to it or whatever. All I know is I was sitting under the awning, and it felt like he was about to hit it. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Needless to say, he's dismissed. Uh, so that means I got the room to myself. Uh, so yay! Love that shit. Cause two weeks with somebody in this hotel, I don't know. And it's not that I can't do it in like a truck, but at least I'm gonna be making money in the truck. This this fifty dollars a week is ain't shit. So I have money before you come out here, cause you ain't gonna be able to do it. I, I eat ramen every day. Like I consider myself like really frugal, and and can know how to hunker down. I eat ramen every day, I pack a lunch, uh, I don't drive around town, so I don't even get to really go exploring Tennessee, and anybody that rides with me, I charge them five dollars. So, you know, I'm not really limited on my funds and what I'm trying to spend. So, come up here with some money. Or, be prepared to to really hunker down and, and, and really keep to a budget. Other than that, tomorrow we go on the road, uh, we got our our road class, because that's the best way I describe it. I've heard it called so many different things. So I'm just going to call it our road class um, from our lead instructor uh, before we go out with our with our instructors to go driving over the road. And um, when I say over the road, I mean like, you know, around the street and around the blocks just to learn basic like lane, lane control, um, start identifying any types of um, potential accidents. Um, how to approach stoplights and railroad tracks and how to do 
left turns, right turns, and sweeping left turns and sweeping right turns. Basically, how to, to function on the road with all you four wheelers out there, with all you people driving cars, and two wheelers, and three wheelers, and, and anything else in between. Um, so, really excited. Tomorrow's going to be a fun day. Uh, it, like I said, it's been really hot out here. I'm like, I feel like I'm like five shades darker than like my normal color. And like, I'm not even color struck, so I don't mind the darkness. Like, like I don't really could care less, but I don't know if it shows up on this, but like, it is so bright outside that I am like two-toned. Like, it's really funny when I get in the fucking shower. And I'm, this camera doesn't do it any justice, I'm sure, or me for that matter, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, excited for tomorrow. Last day of week two, I ain't got nothing to stress about. Week three, I just got to pass. Pray for me. I feel, like I said, I feel the vibes. Keep them coming. This is the Happy Nappy Trucker. Still happy. Still nappy. Peace.